crap, Rick! You, 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 you made a Morty clone, Rick! Yeah, I know. I had to rearrange the entire garage to do it, Morty. The world of Adult Swim sociopathic mad scientist Rick Sanchez and his pubescent grandson Morty is full of wonder and hilarious danger. And Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality gives fans a new way to put themselves right in the middle of it with a fun and funny, although short, touch-enabled VR experience. We came here to get a special kind of egg. It's the one on that rock over there, so why don't you figure out how to get it, bring it over here while I fix the mess you made in my car. You play the role of one of the potentially infinite supply of clone Mortys, each of which is little more than an expendable floating head and set of hands designed by Rick to help with mundane tasks. Your jobs get more involved over time, and developer Alchemy Labs keeps the pacing up by cycling through several Hallmark VR activities like solving puzzles, environmental exploration, and the occasional shooting gallery. None of these tasks are particularly difficult, but they're enjoyable thanks to the high-tech toolset that's full of references to the show. To recharge batteries, for example, we use Rick's ethically dubious Microverse creator, and a crafting table that lets you combine any two items you can pick up allows for some great experimentation with the grab bag of items found lying around Rick's makeshift lab. Navigating the three workstations in the garage via a teleporter works well, and it's a smart solution to the problem of larger virtual spaces versus small VR play areas. Playing on the Oculus Rift with two sensors, not being able to control which direction was forward sometimes became an issue. I'd want to interact with an object behind me, but the sensors would lose track of my hands. It was fixed by adding a third Oculus sensor, and it's not an issue on the Vive. Plus, the background dialogue performed by the show's cast provided an enjoyable distraction while I reoriented myself. The two to three hour story isn't the epic stuff of the show's more memorable episodes, but the clever writing weaves together the various activities into a fun jog through a well-developed universe, or two. Performances from the cast help carry over the series a reverent, nihilistic, brutally honest tone, though it sometimes feels as though virtual Rickality embraces the show's rambling, improvisational nature just a bit too much, possibly because Justin Roiland's delivery as the eponymous duo seems less bombastic than it is in the show. Morty Clone, pay attention to me. I need you to take this laundry and put it in the washing machine. That said, I loved how it encouraged me to improvise along with them. Every drawing cabinet hides some new gizmo, which is often a reference to the show, and it's usually good for more than just nostalgia. After you complete the short main story, there's still a slew of collectibles to find, and more easter eggs and references to dig up than you can shake a plumbus at. Or whatever it is you do with a plumbus. For more high-concept sci-fi rigmarole, stay tuned to IGN. See you wouldn't want to be, uh, <laughs>